Hi, welcome to this MPU tutorial where we're going to review the very basics on how to use the user interface. So we'll begin with the library, which is this menu here on the left. It is divided in five sections, um, five categories, which are data structures, operators, visualizators, controls, and APIs. And if you click on the steps, you get a list of the modules within each which are the objects that you use within Impure to build your workspaces. As you can see, there are quite a lot of modules in, in the library, so in order to help you find what you're looking for, <clears throat> there are uh, two uh, ways you can do that. Well, actually three. You can do that manually using the scroll bar here, but you can also use this tag cloud over here, because all modules have been tagged, as you can see here, uh, they, they are all related to, to keywords so that you can find them using the, the tag cloud over here. For instance, if I want to find numeric uh, lists, uh, uh, you can see how it gets sorted here, or you can mix um, lists with numeric so that number list is the first uh, occurrence and, uh, and the rest is, is uh, sorted based on what you chose up here. You can also use this uh, text search box here. So if you want to find a date list, you can see that you uh, can type it here and it gets up. Uh, and you can combine both. You can, uh, I mean, everything you type here is uh, uh, is have is had into account as well as whatever you have selected up here in the in the tag cloud. You can also use some keyboard uh, shortcuts to to uh, expand the library. With uh, S, you get data structures. With O, uh, operators. V, visualizators. C for controls. And A for APIs. And finally, the escape key to hide the library. So once you know how to how to work with the library, what you will want to do is create modules. Uh, you do that by dragging from from the library to the stage here. Um, and what you can do as well is, well, uh, this this number and this string that I just created is it's a very basic kind of object. Uh, it, it only has one output, uh, one outlet, uh, which is an output connector. But if you take an operator, which is uh, this other library here, um, for instance, this one, minus one, um, you can see that this one has one input, one inlet, is this icon over here, and one outlet. This means that you can uh, attach something, one value to to this inlet, to this uh, module, and you will get a result here in the output. So if I type a uh, uh, number with value 5, I connect it, just clicking on the center of the icon of the outlet, and drag in until here. The connection gets, get create, uh, gets created, and if I use a simple visualizator kind of uh, to string visualizator this one will let me see what's coming out from this outlet just connect this one I can see that 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 equals 4 and if I change the value here 10 and click outside <clears throat> I can see how the value uh, changes as well so uh, once you know how to how to create relations, uh, you will start doing so, and you will see that sometimes you will get something like this. If I connect this string here, uh, the relation is orange. This means that there is a problem here. In this case, the problem is that hello is a string, and minus one is uh, accepting only numbers. Uh, you can you can know that by rollovering the inlet. You see it here. Um, also, what you can do is you will notice that many uh, modules have this uh, little uh, rectangle icon here, which means that you can type directly there, so that you don't need to create uh, a module to to attach to attach to it. So if you type here and click outside, um, you get the, the the number module created for you. So this is very handy when you're uh, trying to be fast. Um, you can see that if you click on a module and uh, drag around, you can move it. <clears throat> if you uh, get close to the edges of the screen, 
you will see how everything moves. This is because uh, it allows you to, to create very uh, large uh, projects. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move this apart. And I'm going to remove the connection. So what, what sometimes can happen is that you want to link one module here to another there, which is quite far away. And, and sometimes it just gets out of, of sight, like this. So what you can do is click here and move to the, to the edge of the screen until you reach what you're looking for. You drop here, and that's it. So this is pretty handy as well. Um, okay, so another thing you can do is uh, grouping stuff together uh, in order to move it, for instance. So you can click this module here, and uh, and you can use the, the shift key to choose another one. Then you can use the D key to duplicate. You press the D key and, and click and drag. You can also, of course, use um, copy and paste. Uh, this works as well with uh, groups. So if you have this, copy, paste, you duplicate this. Same for, for duplicate with the D key. And you can also select by drawing a rectangle. Uh, just hit the shift key and click and drag. And you can see that you, uh, you select whatever falls uh, within this uh, rectangle. So that's it. That's the very basics. Um, please have a look at the following tutorials where we will review uh, other things that you can do with, uh, with Impure. Thank you.